one of the songs that kind of wrote itself. I was in my house in Michigan, actually at the piano, and just kind of came up with this, it was more of a slow kind of dirgy thing, very dark. And uh, just started singing, and those are the first words that came out. been in trouble with the law. I don't know where it came from, but it did tell the story of, you know, a guy on the run. I kind of just felt like the uh, court reporter. I'm just writing down what I'm hearing in my head. Renegade was one of those kind of songs. Something like that. The idea of Renegade actually came with the opening of the new stadium. At Three River Stadium, we were kind of limited with game day interaction, signage, and things like that. So when we moved to Heinz Field, we were able to make videos and content that would get the crowd and players pumped up. Mike Marchinski, Senior Manager of Marketing Events, and I've been with the Steelers since 1998. Worked on game days in 98, an intern in 99, and started full time in 2000. My mom was a fan of Styx. She introduced me to Styx with Lady and Babe and some of those ballads. And my wife was a fan, and I was a member of those CD warehouses that would send you 50 CDs for the price of a dollar. And uh, one month, the Styx Greatest Hits was one of the CDs that were available. So, purchased that, was riding to work, was listening to Babe, went on to the next couple tracks, and Renegade came on. Oh, mama, I'm in fear for my life from the long arm of the Lord. I had heard the song before, but just the timing of it when I was coming to work sparked something. So got to work, walked upstairs into the control room, and I gave it to our executive producer, and he listened to it, knowing that Pittsburgh was a classic rock kind of town. He said, well, uh, we'll take a look at it, and uh, we'll see how it goes. It took about a week or two till we put the first highlights together. It started as a little bit of a black and white, a little slow, and then when the scream comes along, that's when they flipped it to a color video. I don't remember the exact first game it was played, um, but I remember the reaction of some of the players knowing that we were getting on to something. You know, when you create something like this, you're either trying to get a reaction out of the fans or you're trying to get a reaction out of the players. And this one got a reaction out of both. We didn't even really know what the words they were saying. It was so much more of the, the beat, the pulse of the beat. The pulse of the beat was electric from the first time we heard it. It was just like, man, what was that? Joey Porter in the early 2000s was our guy. Every team needs a Joey Porter and every defense needs a Joey Porter. And I knew if we would get somebody like Joey Porter behind the song, that would take it to another level. Joey Porter having a monster game. We didn't even know the song was called Renegade. For years, we called it Oh Mama. Oh Mama, I can I thought the name of the song was that for like almost a decade. We didn't play it at every single game at that point in the first couple of years. We played it when we needed it. It wasn't one of those staples that it turned into now. But the 2002 season, following that season, we're in a playoff game against the Cleveland Browns. The Steelers are in a bunch of trouble because there is no tomorrow. Cleveland 24, Pittsburgh 7. We were down pretty big, and uh, we played Renegade. Mike Logan, who's from Pittsburgh, picked off the ball. Here's the four-man rush. He throws it over the middle, and it's picked off! A diving interception by Mike Logan! So we start mounting a comeback. It's caught in the back of the end zone for a Pittsburgh Steelers touchdown! Play action fake. 
Maddox throws it to the back of the end zone. It's caught for the touchdown by Jeremy Tumit. We played Renegade for a second time during that game, and that was the first time we ever played it twice. Hangman is coming. Here we go. Renegade twice. Shotgun snap. Throws it for the goal line. It's caught. There's a touchdown for Pittsburgh. They go with a draw handoff. And throws it to the end zone for the Pittsburgh Steelers touchdown. Chris Fuamatu Mahafala, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Come back from all odds. And they do it when they had to do it. Then it kind of turned into an anthem, and uh, we started playing it at every game, and it was 2008 is when I really remember it making an impact on a season-long basis. We would need to come back or need a play, and I remember James Harrison forcing fumbles. I remember Lamar Woodley forcing fumbles. I remember Deshae Townsend picking off Tony Romo in a game that we needed to have. He waits, he looks, he fires the interception. He was heading to the 25, Deshae Townsend to the 10, to the five, he dives for the goal line. The jig is up. The news is out. They finally found me. They played it. Soon after that, Deshae picks a ball off and runs it in for a score. I was believing in it a little bit at that point. <laughs> Tell them to play Renegade, man. We take the I like it. It gets our crowd up. Oh, man. I think it brings the best out in us. It's awesome to see how it grew from something that was just a uh, every once in a while to now a game day staple that, that sometimes has made a great impact on the game. We've only really had a few people in the control room that have had the opportunity to, to steer the ship of, of Renegade. All right, so gates open at 11. We got a My name is Chris Burns. I'm the executive producer of live stadium events for the Pittsburgh Steelers at Acroshore Stadium. All right, there we go. We will Renegade in this break here. The timing is the biggest thing for it. I can't play that video when there is an injury on the field. I can't play that video when there is a official review. I can't play that video if we're gonna be on offense. Timing kind of has to be perfect. Warning renegade moment. Slowly everything to black, including music, go. Laser renegade, go! Oh mama, I'm in fear for my life from the long arm of the law. If our defense can get an interception right after a renegade, that's the biggest payoff of the entire day, especially when, when it could change the game. He looks, he waits, he fires a pass and it's intercepted on the tip at the 45 yard line. Devontae Casey. I definitely start smacking backs, you know, especially in there. Larry Richard, my, my PA announcer, he's, he's with me through the entire game. And to see an interception by the Steelers after a Renegade, you haven't been to Pittsburgh unless you've seen that. He got his turnover on Renegade. That's as good as it gets. 15 seconds. That's a song that's going to be around forever. Like, it don't get old. When you play it, it's known. Other teams talk about it when they come into the stadium. I've heard some really interesting ways people have you know try to like prepare for renegade they'll play it all week long so they get sick of the song he looks left he fires intercepted by Paul for us i think it's just become almost like an anthem for the city in terms of like what the defense the sealer defense actually represents it gets us hype um, it lets us know it's a critical moment it's a chance to let the defense light your hair on fire. We got to get a turnover. We got to get a big play. Cameron Hayward, an unbelievable play. Yeah, sometimes I'll be singing on the sideline, getting, getting, getting hype on there. And so I just think it brings a lot of juice to the crowd and a lot of energy. Get a crowd in it. Get a minute. Renegade is one of those things that as soon as the screen goes black, everybody knows what the deal is. It's just a tone setter. It really is. Play action fake. He's back. There's and the ball is out of the Steelers yes. pick it up. And that's T.J. Watt running for the end zone. Steelers with the touchdown. The legend of Renegade is alive and well. When that video screen goes black, and the crowd gets amped up. It changes the emotion in the stadium for sure. The terrible tiles go crazy, the players get excited, and that's what the goal is. When you're ever trying to make an impact in a game, that's what you're trying to do. Black in the end zone! I gotta tell you something, Renegade, the mojo is working now, baby. 
it's one of those things where you get goosebumps, but you have to be a stiller to understand it. If you're a stiller, you understand it's like a, it's part of history. Sticks, old mama, renegade, it's lifetime. Renegade strikes again! Renegade strikes again!